Let me start. Yes, good morning. Good morning to everyone. Uh, we have uh, uh, just finished uh, the lesson forces and uh, laws of motion as you can see. The laws of uh, motion. Forces and laws of something wrong has been written here. In your book, at the end of the lesson, whatever will be question given, the question related to conservation of momentum will not be done. So here, the first question in the blueprint, the last uh, blueprint, if action is always equal to the reaction, explain how a ho horse can pull a cart so what will be answer for this? First to listen. The question once more I am repeating. If action is always equal to the reaction, explain how a horse can pull a cart. The cart is pulled by the horse. When the horse pushes the ground backwards with its feet, the ground offers an equal reaction forward on the feet of the horse. This is responsible for forward motion of the cart, the actual motion occurs when forward reaction exceeds the opposing force of friction between the cart and the ground. Explain. So uh, you have just now listened the answer. Let me explain you. The cart is pulled by the horse. When the horse pushes the ground, matlab jab force lagata hai, pushes the ground backwards with his feet, apne feet se ground ko backward push karta hai. Jaise ke hum log chalte sama karta hai. The ground offers an equal reaction. Ab jahir baat hai ki wo force laga raha hai ground pe, to ground bhi kuch force lagaye ka, uske feet pe. This is responsible for forward motion of the cart. Is tarah se horse uh, jo move kare ka, aur uske saath saath cart bhi chichata rahe ka. The actual motion occurs when forward reaction exceeds the opposing force of friction. Actual motion kar laga? Jab jitana force of friction hai, usse jo force lagaya gaya, horse ke feet ne jo force lagaya, that is more, that exceeds the opposing force of friction. Then only there will be a motion. Then only the cart, uh, the, the horse and the cart can move. Now the next question is, explain why is it difficult for a fireman to hold a hodge which ejects large amounts of water at a high velocity. Fireman to hold a hodge ejects large amount of water at a high speed. high velocity eject नल के पास तुम लोग बहुत तेजी से पानी आ रहा हो उसको पानी पटा रहे हो पौधे में या कभी-कभी हम लोग पाइप लेकर के धोते रहते हैं तो वैसा केस में यदि तेज वेलोसिटी हो वाटर का तो पाइप को पकड़ना मुश्किल हो जाता है तो ऐसे केस में क्या कारण है कि पाइप को पकड़ना मुश्किल हो जाता है एंड इट्स वेरी इजी लेट मी टेक द अटेंडेंस आल्सो व्हाटएवर द अटेंडेंस विल बी Okay. The injection of large amounts of water at a high velocity from a horse pipe results in the development of an equal force of reaction on the horse pipe. It is a pani nikalta hai pipe se uska force itra jada hota hai, water itna jada force laga data hai, ki uske reaction me. Yani ki third law of motion, ya bi dono question, third law of motion se samadhita hai. Uske reaction ke sarup, action to reaction to an action. So pipe hai, uh, there is a, a reaction in the horse pipe in the backward direction. Pipe pe 
बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन में रिएक्शन होता है यानी कि फोर्स बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन में लगता है और पाइप जो है हमारे हाथ से बार बार पीछे की ओर भाग जाता है आगे बढ़ता ही नहीं है दैट इज वाई इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर द फायरमैन टू होल्ड द हॉज पाइप फ्रॉम अ राइफल ऑफ मास फोर किलोग्राम फिफ्टी ग्राम इज फायर विथ एन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ थर्टी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड कैलकुलेट द इनिशियल रिक्वायर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द राइफल यहां पर क्या है इसको बना दू मैं इस पर लेट मी डू दिस मास ऑफ बुलेट एम वन तो ये भी तुम्हारा कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम का है तो ये तो तुम्हारे सिलेबस में तो अभी डिलीट हो चुका है लेट इट बी वी विल नो कम ऑन टू दी क्वेश्चंस एट द एंड ऑफ द लेसन इसको बनाना है बना सकते हो जो भी कंजर्वेशन ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड से स्ट्रेट लाइन में और ये पहले भी देख चुके हो उसपे कोई भी फोर्स uh, एक्ट नहीं कर रहा है सिर्फ एक बैलेंस फोर्स एक्ट कर रहा है सेकेंड 
देर शुड बी नो चेंज इन मैग्नीट्यूड और वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी में भी कोई चेंज नहीं होना चाहिए एंड ऑल्सो नो चेंज इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन नाउ दर्ड केस द रेजिस्टेंस टू मोशन ड्यू टू एयर मस्ट बी जीरो नाउ द फोर्थ केस द रेजिस्टेंस टू मोशन ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द ग्राउंड मस्ट बी जीरो If any of the four conditions stated above is not met with, the answer will be no. This is because external unbalanced force is needed for initiating the motion, and also for any subsequent change, decrease or increase in its velocity. Now let us write the whole answer.
The revision must be zero. We have got these points. The last point, the most of the intersection between the object and the ground must be zero. When a uh, stick, dust, dust comes out of it. Explain it. When a carpet is beaten with a stick, it comes uh, in motion. जब कार्पेट को हम लोग किसी स्टिक से उस पे चोट करते हैं तो क्या होगा कि डस्ट कम्स ऑफ आउट ऑफ इट तो सारे डस्ट है मोशन में आ जाए द डस्ट पार्टिकल्स इन द कार्पेट टेन टू रिमेन एट एक मिनट एक मिनट कार्पेट मोशन में आ जाएगा और डस्ट पार्टिकल्स टेन टू रिमेन एट रेस्ट ड्यू टू इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट दैट इज वाई दीज पार्टिकल्स फॉल्ट आउट Once more, when a carpet is beaten with a stick, it comes in motion. That means the carpet comes in motion, and the dust particles in the carpet tend to remain at rest due to inertia of rest. That is why these particles fall down. Now, next is why is it advised to tie any luggage kept on the roof of a bus with a rope? Any luggage kept on the roof of a bus. should be tied with a rope this is because when the bus starts suddenly the luggage pieces may fall down due to inertia of rest similarly when the moving bus stops suddenly the luggage pieces may fall down due to inertia of motion isliye usko kya karte hain band dete hain so now the next question a batsman hits a cricket ball which then rolls on a 
level ground. After covering a short distance, the ball comes to rest. The ball slows to a stop. The ball slows to a stop because first point, the batsman did not hit the ball hard enough. Pala Karan ye bata raha hai ki batsman ne usse kaske hit nahi kiya hoga. Second mein, velocity is proportional to the force exerted on the ball. And the third, there is a force on the ball opposing the motion. Fourth, there is no unbalanced force on the ball, so the ball would want to come to rest. So you have to explain it. Kiska Karan kya hai? The cricket ball comes to rest after covering a short distance because there is a force on the ball opposing the motion. This force is due to resistance of air and also due to friction between the ball and the ground. कोई भी चलता हुआ चीज फोर्स देने के बाद रुक जाता है थोड़ी देर के बाद इसके पीछे कारण क्या है फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द बॉल एंड द ग्राउंड दूसरा कारण ये है कि जो हवा का रेजिस्टेंस है वो भी बहुत वो भी है हवा का रेजिस्टेंस भी काम कर रहा है बॉल को रोकने में यानी कि फ्रिक्शन प्रोड्यूस करने में ना द नेक्स्ट वन यू कैन सी The question is, a truck starts from rest and rolls down a hill with a constant acceleration. It travels a distance of 400 meters in 20 seconds. Find its acceleration, find the force acting on it if its mass is 7 metric tons. Now let us do this, uh, solve this question. Yes. Seven. Four hundred upon two hundred. 
So our answer is two meters per second squared. Acceleration in the box two meters per second squared. Now what is x? F equal to m a. We have got seven thousand into two, which is equal to fourteen thousand newton. Fourteen thousand newton. Note it down properly. I think it is visible very nicely. Yeah, pay a screenshot low. Yeah, cabby head to formula hoga s equals ut plus half at squared. And the answer you have are getting 14,000 Newton. Now, let's see. a stone of one kilogram is thrown with a velocity of 20 meters per second across the frozen surface of a lake. A stone of one kilogram is thrown with a velocity of 20 meters per second across the frozen surface of a lake and comes to rest. After traveling a distance of 50 meters, what is the force of friction between the stone and the ice? Now, let us see. Here you have to find F. What is F? The next part
Dengue sign indicates that force of friction is opposing the motion of the ball. Negative sign से हमें पता चलता है कि जो motion of ball है, that is opposed by the force of friction. Then the next question, a 8,000 kilogram engine pulls separate of five wagons. Five wagons, each of 2,000 kilograms, along a horizontal track. If the engine exerts a force of 40,000 newton and the track offers a frictional force of 5,000 newton, they calculate the net accelerating force and the acceleration of the train and the force of wagon one on wagon two.
function of the brain, and now let us see the answer of the 